She'll only come out at night Lean and hungry tight Nothing is new I've seen her here before Okay, so this is a pretty quick, or maybe not quick, but but um, sloppy tutorial at least for you. I'm creating it now only because I found that no one else really had. I found another video, but it was more an easy version of it. But I figured I wanted to learn the, as close as the real version as possible. And I figured probably other people would love that too. Um, I'm sure there are uh, things that I didn't figure out exactly how Andrew plays it, but I think it sounds good enough. So if you're looking for a 100% accurate tutorial, this is not for you, but as I don't think any of them exist yet, I think this will have to do for now. <laughs> so I will run through it fairly quickly, not maybe name all the chords because I don't know all the chord names probably, uh, but hopefully you will see enough. And I'll also add my sort of cover at the end. And um, I've spent the last two hours just listening and, and figuring out how to play it. So it's fairly new to me as well, but I think it sounds good uh, with that in mind. Okay, so we'll start off with a G minor. This is the bass. That's a F sharp sus4, I believe. All right, so G minor. The E. So uh, he plays the, the root and the fifth in the left one. And I believe that's how he does it, so. So that's pretty much the intro. So I'll play it one more time. I, I have the sustain pedal here, but I lift it to play this part, even though it's like a similar chord. And then the verse starts. She'll only come out at night, lean and hungry type. So that's basically just a B. Um, I think it's the first inversion or second inversion. I always forget the, <laughs> the inversions. And then it's an F sharp with the A sharp in the bass. And then you, it's down to an A, and then it's an F sharp minor, I believe. And then you have a G sharp. And then G sharp seven. Try to pronounce. Uh, that's not the right word, but yeah. Highlight the the seven there. So B, F sharp with A sharp in the bass. F sharp minor with A in the bass. G sharp. And here I don't play the G sharp bass again. It's G sharp with bass, and then only. And then you have a C minor with B at the top. Uh, you, can, you can add the G sharp there in the bass as well. So that's the C sharp minor with the B at the top. Then it's an F sharp again. You can add the, the fifth there as well. And then D sharp minor with whatever this is, <laughs> a seven maybe, to a G sharp minor. Okay. So she'll only come out at night, the lean and hungry type. Nothing is new, I've seen her here before. Watching and waiting, she is sitting with you, but her eyes is on the door. And that's as you can see, just back to the F sharp quickly and then up to the G sharp minor again. So, what happened there? At the end... <clears throat> so, yeah, I don't know how to explain that, but <laughs> I guess you just have to watch it over to see what I do. It's basically a G sharp 
minor with a quick visit to the F sharp again up to the B. So it's like. And then the second verse. chords the first um, three at least so many you pay to see what you think you get for free the woman is yours and there at the what's that the f sharp minor with the a in the bass it's the same chord it's just a different inversion i suppose um so so two at the <laughs> normal place and then two at the top there. And then you land at the G sharp again. And this time you can have the fifth there at the bass. And here again, try to pronounce the seven. And, and here you can still um, pulse the, the, the bass there. Over to the C sharp minor with the, whatever this is, maybe a sixth. No, no, this must be a seven, right? Yeah, seven. And here he slows down the speed again. So it's the same chords there as previous. But anyway, at the end there of the second verse. If you're in it for love, you ain't gonna get too far. So we land on the G sharp minor there, and then it's a quick, quick visit again to the F sharp and E. And it just like fairly hard. So you then land a bit more softly on the G sharp instead of a minor. Oh, here she comes. And here he starts with sort of an alternating bass uh, line. So. I believe this is what he does. He starts with both and then fifth and then first. So oh, here she comes. So I'll play through the chorus there um, and then I'll explain at the end there what I do as it goes a bit quicker. So. Oh, here she comes. This is a bit tricky, and again, I'm not sure if it is exactly how you place it. But after the so, what do I do? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if I can explain it to you because it comes sort of by feel. So the, your best bet is probably to just loop it again and slow the video down. I will link a page called LooperTube, uh, which is a great resource. Uh, a fellow YouTuber created that page and it's easy to sort of loop sections. So utilize that maybe for this part uh, to figure out what I do. I, I'm too tired to try to figure out and explain what I do. And then from there, he jumps straight up to a B as like root position. I wouldn't if I were you. He plays that nice little thing. Again. And we land on, on the F sharp again with the A sharp as we played it before, but we play it here again instead. So I wouldn't if I were you And then it's 
same thing as before. Basically, to finish off that third verse, I believe it is from the C sharp minor seven. Uh, minor matter, all oh, the beauty is there. Again, he slows down here to only do one beat per chord. So the beauty is there, but the beast is in the heart. And basically, the last chorus as this is um, in his version it's the same maybe a bit louder uh, but it's a bit different with when he hangs on to this uh, G sharp so after the G sharp minor the quick visit there to the F sharp quite loudly then of the chorus there is yeah the same as as last time um pretty much and then what happens after this chorus uh, the the lyrics ends there right and goes back to sort of an instrumental chorus and that's when he adds those nice little i don't know flares <laughs> okay so yeah i'll play through the last chorus for you and then i'll go back over the end oh, she comes. watch your boy shoot you Yeah, again, the last standing there of the of the chorus after the E chord. Uh, we end up on the G minor, and and now the lyrics is finished. When he jumps up to the G mi G sharp minor there, and he plays louder, and I don't know if he slows down a bit, but he really sort of is comfortable in that space of playing it a bit slower at least. And, uh, and to be honest with you, uh, I still struggle a bit with this part. I believe I will figure it out in a couple of days. I will be comfortable with it. But depending on your skill level, I suppose, this might be hard to play because you have to be a bit independent with your hands because the, the tempo sort of changes between between the hands. So they, they need to be individually controllable. And if you need to practice this, if this doesn't come naturally to you, make sure to practice the hands individually but a tip from me to you, even though you won't play the right hand when you practice with the left hand and vice versa, try to have the hand, the non-playable hand still on the keyboard just so your muscle memory remembers to have the hand there. So when you try to combine the two sections, then it will become a bit more natural for your brain instincts to, to, to play it. Okay, so there at the end there, it starts with the G sharp minor again. And this is pretty much the same as before. It's just maybe a bit louder and uh, maybe a tiny bit slower. Like he hangs on it for a bit more so. And here, when we normally would land on the F sharp, here's where it differs. He plays something else on the right hand. And similar in the left hand, but uh, it's a bit different. So instead of both at the same time. I believe he starts with the with the F sharp there, sort of. So he he finishes with two two C sharps there, sort of. And here's what I mean when we're practicing with the hands individually. So if you need to practice left hand first make sure you still have the right hand not necessarily on the keys that you will play but just close to the keys you will play so and repeat with the right hand leave the left hand here just but don't play it so that's what he plays you can start by practicing just these. And then you 
add the, the pinky there. Uh, is that the pinky? Yeah, thumb, pointer, middle, ring, pinky, yeah. So this might be a bit tricky. Well, it took me a couple tries, so. And then it's the same thing, but just an octave higher. And I mean, if the pinky stumbles you up, leave it out. It will sound good enough anyway. But I believe he has the pinky there. Oh yeah, and <laughs> so I forgot to mention, he finishes on a G sharp there. Yeah, to be honest with you, I know it not well enough to slow down too much. <laughs> I'm sorry, but again, use the loop or two, or just slow down the clip and see what I what I, what I do. And here again, it's not necessarily like tricky thing to play, but it is a bit tricky when you add it together with the with the left and the right hand. After that, you go to. So I think why it's a bit tricky is because he changes the tempo here again a bit um, from that to and then it's the same again with the octave up whilst the left hand does the same as with the first G sharp there. Again, tempo change here again, so it might be only because you figure that out and you don't get the last one for free, unfortunately. So it... I believe what it does with the pinky there is the first and the last whilst the, the left hand does the same again. So the last bit. So after the I think he finishes on a fairly simple G sharp minor with just um, like this. It sounds a bit fuller when he plays it, so I believe he might add some color into it, but I'm not sure how. But, <clears throat> but just instead of just a simple like that, a small And then the, the last bit there, it sounds like it should just be alternating all the black keys uh, all the way up to here before he finishes on a high G sharp minor. Can you even see that? Yeah, it's a, yeah you can just <laughs> make it out there. It's a, but up there. But when I listen to it again and again and again, it sounds like up over here that he sort of skips the alternating and does this instead. So I think that's what he does, but I'm very uncertain. He does it fairly quickly, but he starts off a bit slow, speeds up and then slows down at the end. So. So these are the, the notes that I play. Uh, if you don't agree with me on the last one, I, <laughs> I fully accept that. But yeah, again, if you just, if you want to play as I do, uh, here you go, I played a couple more times for you, slowly. And 
with a bit more dynamic. All right, so this is the next day. Um, I played it again and I realized, I think the, the last chord there, I think he does a sort of a G sharp minor sound. Uh, before the last there. I, I could be wrong <laughs> again. If you figure it out, please let me know in the comments and share it with the others. Um, but yeah. All right, so I can play you the last bit of the chorus there and then the outro. And um, I mimicked him a bit more with the tempo there on the last chords. I think you will be able to hear and I'll explain to you in detail, so. Oh, here she comes. Watch our boy, she'll chew you up. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I just woke up pretty much, so and the voice isn't there fully. But, um, so uh, what I wanted to highlight there, if you wanted to play it more or less exactly the tempo as he does uh, with the last part there. So it's a D sharp minor there. Yeah, it's basically just a, a brief extra pause there. So you can hear that the first one is, there's no pause there. And both the, the bass thumb there and the, the top notes hit there at the same time. And then you end up on the G sharp minor seven. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Sorry for, I mean, I'm not sure if the video will be short or not looking at the time there. But yeah, I, I know that it, this is not, uh, <laughs> I've seen plenty of tutorials on YouTube and many are great, you know, with, with much detail, but they spend a lot of time creating those uh, tutorials. And uh, right now it's, it's actually past my bedtime here. So I, I just wanted to do this because I don't know, I was a bit inspired. Again, I saw that there's no other one on YouTube at the moment. If you want me to dig a bit more deeper into some of the sections, which I just flung past too fast, uh, please let me know that in the comments. Please like the video as well and share it. You know, if it's more popular, then it gives me more reason to do a more deep dive. But if it's only like one small section, like the last part, please let me know that as well. And if it's only one person that needs that, maybe I could create a short for just that brief section if it's only like a one minute thing to add. And yeah, I, I promise you a full playthrough, my cover of it, so I'll, I'll add that now. And um, yeah, I might mess up the lyrics here and there and I might mess up the playing. Like I said, it's only a couple hours fresh <laughs> in my own mind. So it's my practice run still. She'll only come out at night Lean and hungry tight Nothing is new I've seen her here before Watching and waiting She is sitting with you But her eyes are on the door Shout boy, she'll chew you up Oh, here she comes She's a man-eater You couldn't if I were you I know what she can do She's there
deadly man You can really rip your words apart Mind of matter Oh, the beauty is there But the peace is in the heart She'll chew you up Oh, here she comes She's a man-eater Sorry about that. I really messed up on the lyrics and the playing, but whatever. It sounds good enough, I believe. Um, and uh, yeah, I will continue practice the coming days. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't really plan on uploading a cover, full cover, you know, like a real one. But uh, if there's interest enough, let me know and I'll do it. Otherwise, I'll play it for my own or my friends. Thanks for watching and uh, yeah, subscribe if you enjoy this, leave a comment, leave a like, share it with someone and uh, take care. Good night. Bye bye.